Hi everyone, welcome back to my studio and today we're going to talk about the selection process because most people that I have met have one huge problem and that is that it takes so long to get through their images. They are bogged down in the process of selecting images because we all shoot a lot and we should. Digital is cheap, it's great, it's an opportunity for us to choose a lot of different uh, options, we can try different framing, we can uh, try different vantage points, so it's great to be a digital photographer because we can do so much and take so many images, but it bogs us down. Secondly, people have an, another problem that, that actually is related to the first problem, and that is that they have a hard time selecting between the images they've shot. So they're looking at four or five images and they can't tell which one to choose. They like them all, they love them all, so they end up selecting them all and then they've done themselves no good and they've just wasted their entire time selecting because they have just as many images as they ended up with as they started with. So we are going to solve that problem by one simple concept and that concept is the concept of comparative review. So when you're looking at your images as I'm looking at mine right now, I'm looking at one image. And most people go through their images one image at a time and they review this one, then they review this one, and then they review this one, and then this one, and then this one, and A or B or A or B, or, and they go back and forth, back and forth between their images trying to figure out which one is the best. And this is the most inefficient process that you can possibly do. So we're going to solve that by simply hitting the N key in Lightroom for survey, which brings us to a comparison between images. When we are selecting images, comparative review is the way to do it. Because now I can see all of my images in front of me at one time, and one of them is going to jump out at me on its own. I sit back and I look and I see a great composition happening here in the middle and then I look internally and see the faces, what they look like and this one is the winner and I hit the Z key for zoom to check and see if it's sharp. I like it so now I'm just going to simply zoom back out and hit the pick key and give it two stars and then I'm going to move on to the next set of images. And that's how I select my images and I do it fast and I do it well because I'm looking at multiple images at one time and I'm selecting the very best image. And then I'm not even paying attention to the rest of the images because they don't matter. Only the image that jumps off the page at me deserves my attention. And the rest of them can fall to the cutting room floor and that's how you should be selecting your images. Watch the images that jump off the page and choose them and forget the rest. And that's how you do professional selecting fast. If you're a professional photographer or even a serious amateur, you shoot a lot of images. And that means you're probably chained to your computer trying to get them finished. Well, getting your life back is simply a matter of learning a better workflow. And my Lightroom Workflow Workshop has over 24 hours of step-by-step -step instruction that will teach you how to shoot, edit, print, and share your images faster and better than you ever thought possible. Don't miss out on our holiday pricing because it is the absolute lowest it has ever been. And if you're married to a photographer and you want to get your spouse back, this is the absolute best gift that you can buy for your spouse for yourself. Click the link below to learn how to take control of your post-production and get your life back.